Jimmy has already been placed in an orange jumpsuit for jail. This is shocking. We know that. Ready to go. We know that he. Um, there was some confusion. We talked about it yesterday because Jimmy got a speeding ticket, and the ticket wizard graciously volunteered. We will represent Jimmy. We won't even charge him, and you know we'll uh, we'll take care of everything. And then Jimmy told us yesterday that he was planning on going to court because he got a summons. And I was like, wait a second. If the ticket wizard is handling everything, you shouldn't go anywhere. They do everything. That's mm -hmm. the whole, you know, thing where you when you hire the ticket wizard, they handle everything. You don't have to think about the ticket ever again. You go to ticketwizard.com. Well, Jimmy, uh, I don't know, seemed to be some confusion, maybe a lack of communication. And uh, he was going to show up in court. And we told him, you're going to end up in jail. Yep. And he is wearing bright orange. This is a bright orange jumpsuit, I'm guessing. You're ready to go. You're ready to be taken into custody. Uh, I talked with the ticket wizard today, and he made it clear, you do not need to go to court, nor do they want you to. Do you now understand what the, the, the parameters of your job as a client? Crystal clear. All right. Very good. That's what we wanted to hear. When Ticket Wizard says jump, you say jump. No, you, you say how high. I don't think oh, he understands oh, oh, oh. this process. Yeah, this isn't call and response. You... <laughs> jump, jump, jump. <laughs> Isn't that a song? Ooh, you would get your ass beat in that prison yard when, when you just start repeating what anybody says to you. <laughs> You're not ready, Jimmy. <laughs> I'm just teasing, Jimmy. You know I told you about the the time I was I was in in deep deep crap in Gainesville. One of my felony charges, and the attorney told me I had to go to court. I had to go. I had to be physically there. And he turned to me before the case started. His name was Huntley Johnson, and he's actually on some of these documentaries about Florida. He was the attorney for all athletes, and he turned to me, and he said, "As soon as the judge asks you a question, stand up." And say, I turn my power of attorney over to Huntley Johnson. It's four. It's four p.m. and I want to turn my power of attorney over to Huntley Johnson. And he said, "And sit down." He said, <laughs> "Say that phrase and sit down, and we'll be good." As soon as I said that phrase, my attorney raised his hand. The judge said, "Yes, Mr. Johnson." He said, uh, "Can I meet you in your quarters?" They went back to some room, and there was no case. There was no judgment. There was no anything. And everything got dropped to Mr. Mears. Everybody have so a nice Jimmy, day. Jimmy, you need to listen to the ticket wizard because they know what they're doing. Crystal. Crystal clear. And, and if they say, if the ticket wizard says jump, you say. How high? There you go. Now we got it. Now we got ourselves a free man. Now you can keep working. <laughs> you don't think you guys could represent yourself in court? No, no what, way for for traffic infractions. Ah, for anything, for anything. Well, for anything. I happen to be a very good arguer, so yeah. I I know that I'm uh, better than any attorney alive, other than the ticket wizard when it comes to traffic tickets, because mm -hmm. that's there's many nuances there that I don't understand. He's the best, mm -hmm. but in court, yeah, I mean, any kind of charge, I could absolutely talk myself out of it. Yeah, Hawk, I disturbing could. the peace, public yeah. intoxication, two counts yeah. of assault, one count mm -hmm. of battery. Yeah, mm -hmm. felony. Yeah, two Utes. <laughs> two what? <laughs> no, Jack. Did you say Utes? I'm sorry, <laughs> no. youths. <laughs> I do what? Yeah, no, I could talk myself out of it. I tell you, in fact, if you think I could land a, a jetliner, which I probably could, I could certainly talk my way out of a, a disorderly conduct charge. I yeah. got, I got myself a little in a little, little too much that I can chew. Hmm. Right, but you you don't have the gift of gab like I do. Your teeth come flying out. It, that loses credibility immediately. I, I have an attorney whose teeth start flying out. I already I, I zone out. Yeah, I hate you. <laughs> yeah, I I uh, right before I got hired for QAM, I was studying for the LSAT, so I probably went through like like three chapters of an LSAT prep test. Yeah, I, I think I'd do okay in the court. Yeah. yeah. They, what made you think you. Uh, that you were going to go into uh, to law? Like what uh, what was going on there that you said, you know what? I think uh, I think law is my best path forward. Well, I'm a great arguer. Happen to be a uh, a great arguer as well, Hawk. 
So I always felt that was my true calling to be a lawyer. You got waitlisted at UCF. Like, isn't that a red flag? FIU is a better law school than UCF, and uh, <laughs> I was I was basically asked to come to FIU. I mean, <laughs> it was basically but, a full ride. I mean, uh-huh. but Solana, when rude. we catch you lying, mm-hmm. your answer is yeah. Like, <laughs> right, he never has a good. He never has a good response. <laughs> you can't yell yeah in a courtroom. Well. <laughs> if you do uh-huh. end up in jail, Jimmy, and someone you know steps to you, you immediately yell out, "I turn over power of attorney to Huntley Johnson." You got it. <laughs> then I get my ass kicked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, you end up uh, in Huntley cell, and uh, you're a butler. <laughs> Jimmy, strong on the butt. Jail, Walk up to the biggest dude and punch him in the face and establish your place on the hierarchy. Right. Not a bad uh, not a bad strategy, Jimmy. You think you could do that? Most likely not. Mm. Okay. You like cornbread? Nah, it doesn't matter. All right, we got a big game tonight. 